All right, now we're going to continue with the hilarity here. The next comedian, i got to tell you something about this guy. I've been doing this a long time. Every time I see him, he gets better and better. He is really a tremendous comedian all around New York. He goes to other states. Give it up for the average black man, Kenny Waters! <laughs> Shout out to Alaska. Because without Sarah Palin, we would have never seen a black president. <laughs> Good looking out. Let them know. Let them know. Shit. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all do all look famous right here. He got that Tom Selleck look. He got that mustache. It's true, man. That mustache is crazy. You could be porn, or you could be 80s, like, action star. You know what I mean? Where'd Steve go with that little leather coat he had on? You see that? That looked like, he, you heard him say Marky Mark. I was like, yeah, that was off Boogie Nights. That was the leather from Boogie Nights. I was waiting for him to do a little kick or something. Yes. Dirk Diggler. <laughs> I'm just saying. You look famous too, man. You got the afro with the beard. What, what, what's your ethnicity? Uh, Mexican, Texan. Oh, you Mexican? Yeah. Oh, you my nigga. <laughs> oh, Mexicans, man, y'all good people, man. Yeah. yeah, I went to college in California with a bunch of Mexicans. Yeah, yeah. Bunch of Mexicans. <laughs> I, when I came to New York, I started meeting like Puerto Ricans and Dominicans. Before that, I thought it was just black, white, and Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, are you from the West Coast? No, I'm from Texas, but the same thing. It's just black, white, Mexican. Exactly, yeah. exactly. You come up here, you'd be like, yo, where, what's your ethnicity? People would be like, I'm French, uh, Dominican, <laughs> Swedish. I'm like, man, you white. <laughs> you white. You know? So, uh, where you from, buddy? Mer oh, damn, you know each other? Oh, that's crazy. Because if it was two black people from Maryland, they would know each other. <laughs> it's just the way things go. I, I didn't make it up like that. It's just the way shit goes. I don't know. I don't know. What's going on at this table right here? Oh, oh, you guys ordering drinks. Oh, okay. Okay, all right, all right. I ain't gonna attack y'all. No, no, you can. Oh, I can? <laughs> okay, well, how you doing, girl? I'm okay, nice to meet you. It's good. Nice to meet you, nice too. What's your name? My name's Kelly. I just gave you goosebumps? No. Oh, well, you got eczema, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to connect with all of y'all in the room. You, you, hey, you funny as hell. And I, and, I, and I didn't think he was 57. I ain't even lie. I ain't even lie. I'll give it up for her. She did a great job. I'm telling you. She's loving this room. She's loving this room. And give it up for that first comedian with the afro, because he always shouted me out. The Jewish guy. He got a white afro. As soon as I walked up, he was like, you got some gray in your hair. And I was like, me? <laughs> That's like me calling somebody a tar baby. It's <laughs> not gonna do that, man. What's up, man? You a comedian? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you definitely got a look going on, man. <laughs> you definitely got a look going on. You know, you got that Barbara Streisand hair. <laughs> that little fuzzy fur coat you got on. You know? Yeah, yeah, don't shave that, man. That's part of your act, baby. <laughs> You got to use it. You got to use it. So my name is Kenny Warren, aka the average black man, and I'm from Portland, Oregon. And uh, people, oh, yeah, go ahead and clap for Portland. My sister in the back. Yes, with your natural hair, your soft skin, and that big ass and that sundress. Woo! Do that walk, folks. Yeah, but you know, people always ask me the same question: Is black people in Portland? Hell no, I left. <laughs> you know, so Portland is a city that's like, it's 2% black, you know, so when I grew up, you know, I had some white friends. And I'll never forget the first time I went to one of my white friends' house and we was playing Atari. So that lets you know how old I am. And his mom came in and was like, put the game away, you get back to it when you finish. This kid looked at his mom and was like, oh, fuck mom, you're a bitch. And I was like, white people get to talk to their parents like that? I went home and I told my mom about it. I was like, mom, you won't believe this kid called his mom a bitch. And she was like, boy, if you ever talk to me like that, I will beat the black off you. And I was like, well, then I'll be white. And by law, I can only get time out. I'm just saying. 
I was an asshole as a kid, you know? I remember, you know, you guys ever been around those people that like, they always want to sing the song, but they never know the words? You know what I'm talking about. I remember when I was with my aunt. The guys in the Volkswagen. He was in the Volkswagen? No, I said the guys in the Volkswagen. Oh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> So I was, I was with my aunt, we was in a Pontiac Le Mans, cocaine white, <laughs> with the cherry guts. That's just how black folks talk. We like to relate food with things, I don't know. So she turned on some earth, wind, and fire, and I was the guilty party. I was in the back seat, I just started feeling it. Pacify ya! Pacify ya! Pacify ya! She said, boy, what the hell are you talking about? I said, I thought that was a song about somebody and they baby. It's <laughs> like that sometimes. All right, this is just between me and y'all, all right? Don't tell nobody I told you this, but I was on this show, this reality show called Gossip Gang. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bragging by no means, because the chicks on there was mediocre, and most of them was kind of fluffy. You know, big boned, you know, calorie, calorie challenged. And, uh, you know, they kept their quote phrase on there was, we're going to sit down at the round table. And I was thinking like, yeah, you are in all facets. <laughs> and uh, I was thinking like, the show's called Gossip Gang. They should have called the show Stay In Your Lane. Mm -hmm. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I went there. <laughs> Fuck it, man. It's comedy, man. You, know? you guys know they got those uh, bracelets that they have for, uh, like, if you have kids so you don't lose them or whatever. And I mean, I think it's kind of inhumane. But if you've ever been in Spanish, East Spanish Harlem, I used to work over there in the barrio, and you'd see, like, a parent, a, a Mexican parent would be walking, and then, you know, a couple. 30 steps behind, you see some little Mexican kid eating stuff off the ground <laughs> and, 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 and drinking all old pop, pop cans and all that. And I was like, damn, that's one group that I feel like it would be okay if they had those, wrist, those wristbands for it. But it's a funny thing, because if they did do that, you would see a whole bunch of cross lines over in Spanish Harlem, too. People tangled up. Kids, who, yeah, you would see a whole bunch of tangled up kids. Because their parents be walking 30 steps ahead. And uh, I was reading in the Metro about this cookie monster down in Times Square pushed some little two-year-old down. And his name was Olivado Lopez. That was a Mexican dude. Those dudes be drunk. I'm just saying, maybe he just lost his balance. And he just used the kid for a crutch. And the kid just wasn't that athletic. <laughs> I don't see too many two-year-olds in the gym. <laughs> I'm just saying. So I started this comedy thing because, you know, I feel like God is a comedian. You know what I mean? God is a nut. Think about it, ladies. How many times have you guys been in, like, the grocery store, bank, or whatever, and you see that guy, you know, that hunk of a guy, and you go to lock eyes with him, and you see that one of his eyes is lazy? Throws everything off, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, now this kind of doesn't really relate. White guys don't like the fat asses like the black guys, so this relates a little more to the black guys when you're walking down the street, you're in the bank, on the train, and you see that lady with that fat ass, and you're like, God damn, I'm not walking this way, but I'm gonna go ahead and follow her for a block or two. <laughs> And she turned the corner, and you see that, god damn, she got a fat ass stomach, too. I call those donkey kangaroos. It's like catfish. It's like catfish. Get caught up like that, you know? Did you flash me on the light? One minute, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm going to get personal. I'm a thoughtful bachelor, y'all. I got the MTA subway map on my shower curtain. That way she can see how to get her ass home in the morning. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's not a joke. <laughs> That's 
story. <laughs> and I'm, I guess I ended with this. Um, I was I was sitting at this uh, this bar, and uh, I was watching I was watching TV, sitting next to this um, young white lady, right, and. Uh, she was watching Serena Williams play tennis, and she was like, oh my God, look at her ass. I can't believe how she got her ass like that. I don't, what do you think she does? And I was like, I'm not sure, you know. Maybe it's just, you know, in her jeans. I don't know. And uh, she and I was looking at her like, damn, that's a pretty nice ass yourself, you know. But she, she beat me to the punch. She was like, you know, I have a nice ass myself, but it's just not like hers. I was like, well, what do you do to get your ass so nice? And she was like, well, I eat a lot of bread. And I was like, well... Serena probably eats a lot of cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> My name is King Ward, a.k.a. the Average Black Man. All right, let's hear it. Give it up. Ah, you guys are great. Let's hear some more applause.